Hey everyone, have you ever tried to learn how to code but got stuck? In my new Private Fan programming class, we're going to break that loop. This course is primarily focused on people who are complete beginners, so don't worry if you don't have any background. This course is different than other courses because we're going to teach you to think like a programmer and solve problems like a robot. So let's get started. Hi everyone. So in the last video, we ran our very first program. We ran our Hello World program. The way that this worked is that we had to write the code into a code cell and then run it using this button in the Jupyter Notebook or using Shift and Enter. So in this video, I want to talk a little bit about Jupyter before we dive into actual programming. There's a couple of things that are common mistakes in Jupyter and things that might not make sense when you're first using uh, a Jupyter Notebook that I want to just nip in the butt before we even get started. So first of all, there's a lot of things you can do in a Jupyter Notebook besides just running code cells like we've done here. This toolbar up here, you'll see a lot of different uh, options. And th there's a lot of different things you can do here. You can run individual cells, run and select below, run and insert below. So by default, what it does is it runs and inserts below when you hit run or you hit shift and enter, which will just add another cell immediately below it. In addition to this, you can also run all above and run all below, meaning it will run all the cells above a particular cell or run all the cells below a particular cell. So this is a couple of things you can do with Jupyter inside of Jupyter Notebooks. And you can also, there's a couple of things here with your kernel. I won't get too far into that, but if something isn't working, you might want to just try restarting your kernel and restart it. Basically, it will restart everything for you and it will come up with this warning. Do you want to restart the kernel? All variables may be lost. You hit restart. And now it's like everything just started over again. And the way that you know that is these numbers inside of this cell. So this is, refers to the order in which they were run. If you run the same cell twice, this number will change. So it's saying now you ran this fourth, fifth, and sixth. So there's a couple of things about Jupyter Notebooks. You can also move cells up and down. So if you wanted to move this cell, this isn't a great example. If you want to move this cell down, you can use these arrows here and it will move them up and down. There's nothing about this that has anything to do with programming. This is really just for organizational purposes for the most part. This isn't part of Python. This is more just like how you can use a Jupyter Notebook. Now, a couple of other things. You can also copy and paste cells and things like that as well. And you can see this here in edit. It will be copy cells, paste cells. So there's uh, a lot, actually a lot to Jupyter Notebooks that you can use and a lot of keyboard shortcuts that you can use. So if you go up here to help and you hit edit, keyboard shortcuts, they'll give you a whole bunch of things here. One of them is in command mode and one of them is in edit mode. So there's a lot of functionality to Jupyter Notebooks. I would recommend going through some of these keyboard shortcuts. Maybe after doing this for a few hours, don't look at it right away. It's a little bit overwhelming, especially if you don't even know what you would be using this for yet. So don't worry about learning all these shortcuts. I do not know a majority of these shortcuts. I only know the ones that I use a lot of, and I'm gonna give you a couple of those tips in this video. Edit in command mode. You can tell if you're in edit mode or command mode by looking at the banner here on the left side of the cell. So green we means you're in edit mode. Edit mode is just what you would expect. It's like you're typing inside of the cell. So when we before when we type print hello world, this is edit mode where we're actually typing code into it. And this is what we're used to like when you type text normally. But another thing you can do is you can go into command mode, which again is this blue color. And that the way that you would get into command mode is you select on the left of the cell rather than inside of the cell. And the way you know you're in it is two things. First off, the banner becomes blue instead of green when you're in edit mode. This is edit mode. This is command mode. And the second thing that uh, will happen is that you will not see that blinker in there anymore. There's no more, there's no text blinker prompting you to type. And then that means you're in command mode. So command mode has to do with cells rather than anything that you're actually coding or writing into the box. So you can use some of those command shortcuts and those things will be things that edit the cells themselves, these boxes. If you hit C, you will copy a cell. If you hit V, you'll paste the cell. So you see that we're pasting and copying cells. If you'd like to delete a cell, you can hit D twice and you'll delete a cell and you can move up and down between cells using the up and down arrows when you're in command mode. And if you hit uh, B, you will insert a cell below. That's what the B represents here. And if you hit A, you will insert a cell above. So there's a lot of different, as I mentioned, there's a lot of different keyboard shortcuts that you can use, and they're all up here in this keyboard shortcuts in the help part of the toolbar. Again, don't worry too much about this. There's only a couple that, as I just mentioned, the ones I just mentioned are probably the ones you use a lot of. Again, I'll just go through that again. C and V for copying and pasting cells. And 
just another note, you don't hit control C or control V or command C or command V like you normally do. You can do that inside of a cell, like you can do command C and then you could paste it into another cell using command V. But if you are in command mode, you can actually copy and paste the whole cell. If I had something like something else, hello world again. So there's three lines of code here and I'm gonna run all three of them and it will do all three for me. If I wanted to copy this entire cell, I can go into command mode, hit C and then hit V. Just to give you a little bit of an idea of why you might wanna do this. The reason I'm gonna bring this up is because, so first off, these are very useful keyboard shortcuts to know when you're in Jupyter. Another big thing is if you're starting to type and you think you're gonna type code and you're in command mode, a lot of weird stuff is gonna start happening. And the reason for that is that you're not actually typing into the cell. You're not typing code. You're, you, in order to type code, you need to be in edit mode. So to fix this, you need to click inside of the cell. If you see this green banner, you are now in edit mode and you can type whatever you want into there. So for the most part, command mode, it will give you some extra cool things you can do, but it's not mandatory to write the code. And if you're finding that you can't write the code, it's probably because you are in command mode instead of edit mode. So just click inside the text box and you will be in there, or you can click enter to go inside the text box and escape to go into commit back into command mode if you'd like. I think in the beginning, it's easiest just to remember, okay, if it's not running or some weird stuff's happening, just make sure you see the blinker. If you don't, click inside the cell. Okay, so that's the first thing that I wanted to cover. And that would be it for this video. The reason I bring this up, so I know it's a lot of information right off the jump. Don't worry about pretty much any of what I just said. You don't have to use it. You could always go up here to this toolbar and copy cells, paste cells if you wanna do that, insert cells. That's all here. So here, even for the cells, you can pretty much do whatever you want here. Anything that you would want to do. Oh, sorry. Insert, insert cell above, insert cell below. Everything that you need is going to be up here. You don't need to remember the, the shortcuts. These were just a few that I find helpful. And the main thing to remember though, is that the, these two different modes, and if something isn't working, you're probably in the wrong mode. You want to click inside of the box to make sure you're in edit mode, and then you can type whatever you need to. Okay, great. So in the next video, we're going to talk about one additional thing with Jupyter Notebooks that A, is useful to know, but also B, is a very easy thing to fall into when you're first using them. And then we're going to jump right into code. I know you've been anticipating this. I just didn't, don't want you to get stuck. Okay, so the next video is going to be talking a little bit about some of the additional things you can do uh, in a Jupyter Notebook.